welcome back to survival minecraft where we have been working on this castle mega base and last episode we finally finished the exterior of this base so this episode we get to start working on the interior now the plan is to have this be kind of a magic school castle as opposed to your normal kind of traditional castle where royalty lives. So the interior is going to be more about the fact that it is a school. So we're going to have uh, a dining room where we're standing right now is probably going to be the dining hall. We're going to have classrooms, we're going to have like dormitories up in one of the towers and of course a huge library. But currently the interior looks like this and we, we've got quite a few rooms planned out so far but we definitely need to actually put the walls in and kind of sort this out a bit better. There's a lot of empty floors going on and the other side of the building looks very similar to this in that it's missing, it's missing a lot. So I think the first thing we need to do is actually just get all of these walls and floors and roofs and all of the basic structure of those things in place and then we can actually start decorating the rooms and start making this look even more magical than it already looks. Now I think we just want to put down some signs to say what each of these rooms are going to be so we can plan it out a little bit easier. So I'm definitely going to want to decorate this interior with a lot of candles. I think candles are going to really help us add to the magical feel of the inside of this build. But we don't have a bee farm or a honeycomb farm at all in this world yet. So I think the first thing we need to do, the first interior room we need to, to get working on is this one, a bee farm. We're up in one of the towers which I think is a really good spot for it. We're gonna definitely have this be automatic and we can hide that away, but then we're also gonna decorate this whole room with loads of flowers and plants and just nice decorations for the bees to fly free around in this tower room. And I think that will be really cute for them. And then we will of course still have our kind of collection, automatic collection system. I'm thinking along this wall, we've got the door on this end. So I've got a whole bunch of supplies here including the redstone components and also some flowers and things to decorate so i think i'm gonna get the actual farm parts in these beehives should have enough bees in them but we might need to breed them up a bit yeah i think i'm gonna get the redstone part in first and then we can have some fun decorating this room as well okay we've got the basic bits of the farm in now it's time for the moment of truth let's put the beehives in 
and it's it's nighttime, I think, so the bees aren't going to come out. But there, there are definitely bees in there. And then we've got a little barrel here that all of the honeycomb will collect in the barrel. Now we just need to actually get to decorating this room. I think that I'm going to start with maybe some like beams up at the top. I think we've got this, we've got the roof. I like that you can see the colours of the roof. I think that looks cool. I've put some uh, frog lights up there to light it up. But I think maybe a couple of wooden beams across here as well would look good and then we can hang some glowstone glow berries from it and then maybe we can make some little like flower pots in the corner like that i think that looks good do a couple of those like big flower pots so we can put the taller flowers in these and then i think we'll just do like some shelves for the rest yep that looks good. I like that. <gasps> the bees! The bees have popped out. Yes! And there we go, we have a bee sanctuary and automatic honeycomb farm all in one and I've just picked that up out of the barrel but we have got honeycomb already collecting here and now I just need to make some more beehives, perfect. There we go, all five beehives in place, I've got a bunch of flowers, I'm gonna just sit and breed up these bees until we've got five full bees nests of bees. And I'll also snip off these vines if they grow too long as well. But I'm really happy with this. I think this looks really cute. I think hopefully the bees will love it. We've got flowers everywhere. We've got lots of different hanging types of flowers. We've got a couple of amethyst crystals, which I think look cute in here as well. And they fit with the color scheme. And a couple of hanging lanterns and various other plants and decorations. And of course, a spore blossom for the particle effect. Would you like to make a baby bee? Yes, a baby bee. And now, yeah, we just have to breed up these bees until we can fill up all five of these. Now with the honeycomb farm up and running, I think we should work on this grand entrance hall. This is the first room that you will come into when you enter through the front door right here. And so it's got to have that kind of grand feeling of a, of a grand entrance. We've got this big staircase coming up that needs a lot of work to it. Um, and I have put a ceiling in of Skulk with some frog lights to light it up. I think this looks really cool. I think that Skulk works really well as a ceiling. It's kind of got that night sky look to it. So I'm really happy with that. But I think that we could do with maybe a chandelier or something else to kind of make us look up to kind of draw our eyes upwards as we come in through this front door. I haven't planned out any of this yet. I'm gonna kind of just see how it goes and add to it as I figure it out. And since it's also much harder to do time lapses on interiors than exteriors, I think that it might be better to do a before and after. So I have added a chandelier. I actually ended up taking the frog lights out of the ceiling because the chandelier kind of lights up that ceiling enough without those. I added some support, some more structure to these stairs. So they don't look like they're just floating anymore. And I, I really like how these arches kind of go up with the stairs. We also have this rug in the middle with lots of different blocks in there making this pattern. We've got some purple glazed terracotta. I even used some crying obsidian of which I have about 13 blocks in total. So we used uh, a few of those in here. And then this room doesn't have any windows, so there was lots of empty wall space that needed filling. So I kind of just tried to come up with some little details to fill out the walls. We've got these little benches, some flowers, a bunch of candles on little um, posts. They're kind of like candle holders, I guess. And then also this detailing around the edge where the wall joins to the ceiling, just to kind of make it, just to add a bit more detail really and 
make it look a bit less empty. It, it was kind of still looking like a big square room, which um, I think this really helps with. We'll take a look from up here. We can see the pattern on the carpet. I really like that. I actually, I need to add, do I have carpet? Yes, let's add a little bit joining there. So we've kind of got the carpet joining the different ways you can go up here to the dining room. And then you can also go down the corridor that way. This comes up here and we've added in some detail in this corridor as well. So we've just got a rug and just again, like just some small details to join things together and make it look less like a, a long empty hallway really. And I think that just a few details around the edge makes quite a big difference. I haven't done anything else down through any of these doors yet, but I have also done this hallway. So as we come along here, under here and we have this long very tall kind of again empty hallway that needed something just to fill it and make it look a bit less like a long square hall <laughs> um, and I added the the kind of wood ceiling and the lanterns and it was still looking a bit empty so we've got a floating candle corridor as we follow this all the way down and then this takes us outside out to the other building that's where that door goes but yeah I'm really happy with how this first grand entrance hall has turned out I think it definitely makes you kind of look up as you come in with this big crystal chandelier in the middle and yeah I wanted to keep it fairly open like I want this to be a big open space but I think that a rug in the middle is a good choice there because it keeps it open but it's also interesting and there is light hidden under there as well to keep this all lit up and mob proof as well and i think all of the details that we've kind of figured out here like these little flower pots and the the candle holder things here and just like little shelves of things these are all details that we can use throughout the rest of the build like in other hallways and anywhere else that we have these kind of empty rooms that need a bit of space filling in them we can we can bring these details throughout the castle so it will all feel very kind of joined up and now I'm kind of overwhelmed with all of the choice we have we have so many rooms that we need to fill in and decorate and and I think I'm actually just going to find somewhere to put the maps this is where I have been keeping my my storage kind of hidden under the stairs this was supposed to be temporary storage and it's kind of just turned into um <laughs> More permanent storage. Oh, my inventory is full. It's become a lot harder to get around this castle now that we actually have floors because I can't just fly directly up through the floor. I have to <laughs> have to go this way. But I, I really love this staircase though, so I don't mind too much. So up here, this is gonna be a study hall. That tower is gonna have the dormitories in it. So I think this area being like a study hall area makes sense, but I don't think we need all of it I think maybe this bigger side can be the study hall and then maybe this little side just this little bit of space here can be our map room let's get rid of all of these torches we're going to put some proper lighting in and I think I'm also going to put a wall in as well and some beams along the ceiling. Yeah, I think this is looking good. Now we just need a rug and I think we will put the maps on this wall and then we'll keep this room quite kind of empty and plain because this is just a map room. Maybe we'll put some, some seats along one side, but we've got this nice big open wall for maps. Let's have the locked ones on this side. These are the locked ones from when we were doing the planning. So this is like, this is our like original plan of what the castle was gonna look like and what the land around it looked like. And it's like a, a historical snapshot of this area. And then here we have now, and these are not locked. So these will update if we do anything else to the surrounding area, we can update it. Ah, why is there snow? That needs to be updated. We're right by it. Why is there snow? No, there's not supposed to be snow out there. I put string on that. Well, looks like we're going to put some more string on the roofs. Now it's all up to date. There are three pieces of snow over there. Ugh. Now it's done. There we go. There is our finished castle on the map there and the planning map next to it. I think they look really good next to each other. So this will just be our map viewing room. Let's put some frog lights under some carpets in the middle and some extra 
bits around and then we'll be done and there we go we've got some decorations i did some slightly different flower pots here they're kind of leafy trees instead of flowers in these cauldron pots a couple of benches either side of this big window and some little shelves up there just to fill out this wall a bit more and I really like this room. I think it's nice to have kind of a, a map to show where we came from, what it looked like before and what it looks like now and how much work we have done and how different it looks now. And I think that we have made some really good progress on the interior of this base today. And there are so many more rooms to do that we will definitely be continuing to decorate rooms for the next few episodes at least. And so I hope to see you in the next episode i hope you enjoyed this episode let me know what you think about this interior so far and i will see you in the next one goodbye